Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, it looks like we finally might have some good information with Rockstar and modding. So, funny enough, and kind of ironically enough, this comes a day after I made that video talking about all the crazy things modders are able to do, some a lot less harmful than others, some of it's sort of playful, but some of it's actually really malicious. Well, it looks like Rockstar is seriously cracking down on these mod menus and these modding companies. So in case you guys don't know, there's actually like a, a little GTA mod menu enterprise. And with the success of online and with Grand Theft Auto V being one of the most popular games of all time, there's like a, a little like economy, a little business for Grand Theft Auto Online mod menus. And there's actually quite a handful of them. And it looks like Rockstar has told just about all of them, you gotta cut out what you're doing or we're coming for you. So one of the most popular GTA 5 mod menus, Elusive, uh, their website now looks like this. After discussions with Take-Two Interactive, we are immediately ceasing all maintenance, development, and distribution of our cheat menu services. We will also be donating our proceeds to a charity designated by Take-Two. We apologize for any and all problems our software has caused to the Grand Theft Auto Online community. So you might be thinking to yourself, wow, that's awfully nice of that mod menu to be doing, to be donating to charity and you know leaving a nice note like that. Well, let's just say that's not on their own doing. What has happened here, and we know this because this message is the same to previous people that have had this happen to them, this mod menu got a cease and desist from Rockstar. Basically, if you get something like that, it's not good. It means you got to stop what you're doing right now or we are going to sue you in court for lots of money. And I would imagine the terms of their cease and desist was, hey, you're going to stop you know, doing anything with the mod menu. You're going to post this on, on your website. You're going to donate all your money to charity that we get to decide, which is obviously at the end of the day really good that, you know, the cause of this is going to a good cause for charity. Uh, and then you have to say, we apologize for any and all problems our software has caused to the online community. So by this right here, it definitely looks like Rockstar is starting to crack down on these mod menus. And this is not the only mod menu. I told you guys there's a lot of them. Uh, there's another mod menu called Epsilon uh, that you might be aware of. Now they have also announced that they have received a cease and desist from Rockstar as their site and their menu is no longer working. At least you can't get a new version of the menu itself. And we actually first saw this to the force mods that were going on a couple of months ago. The reason, like I said, we know it's a cease and desist is because their website ended up saying the exact same thing. In fact, if you go to gta5hacks.com, it redirects to a Gaiazo link with the exact same post that after discussions with Take-Two Interactive, they are ceasing development of Force Hacks menu services, will be donating to charity, and then they apologize for all the problems it has caused. Now there is one other major mod menu, I think it's called Desking, and they haven't publicly announced anything, but their website is taken down. So I'm gonna speculate here that they got the exact same cease and desist that these other menus got. Maybe they just haven't publicly announced anything. Who knows, they might be trying to fight Rockstar here. I'm not sure. I feel like that would be a really, really dumb decision to try and fight Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar Games. I mean, the amount of firepower they probably have with lawyers and money, obviously, is just going to be insane. They're going to crush that little mod menu. So there is almost no hope for that. But with all that out of the way, this is actually great news for Grand Theft Auto Online because this is going to eliminate a lot of the problems that I talked about in my video yesterday. Now, in case you missed it, I will leave a link to it in the description or I'll leave it as the um, end card video so that if you're done watching this, you can see sort of all the problems that these modders were causing for people. But yeah, it does seem as if that we're not gonna be having as many of these issues in online. Now, I say that and I'm trying to be optimistic and there's obviously a good chance that with these mod menus getting taken down, you know, another one's gonna pop up. It'll take months for Rockstar to figure out, hey, we gotta get rid of them. And there's a good chance that this process will just be a giant rinse and repeat of, we get a little bit of a reprieve right now, 
where not a lot of people are, you know, going to be having the mod menus because they've been shut down. But in a couple months, you know, there is a chance that it just pops back up again. That sort of seems to be the life cycle of mods. But I want to believe now that Rockstar has finally tackled this once and for all. Now, of course, with this happening, that does mean that some of the good mods that we do get to experience online, like having unreleased vehicles, doing fun with wacky and crazy things, it looks like that'll be going away too. But with Grand Theft Auto Online modding, the bad certainly outweighs the good. And personally, I'd rather have all the menus gone than all of them up because even though it'll be a little bit unfortunate to miss out on doing fun things with unreleased vehicles and online, I'd rather not have to worry about getting killed randomly by explosions, by people trapping me in boxes, by people dropping explosives on me constantly, by you know being able to teleport across the map and kill me instantly with God mode. I'd rather not have any of that happen. And if it means sacrificing a, a couple cool instances that you get to experience every once in a while, I definitely think that's worth the trade-off. So this is definitely interesting. Have we turned a new page in Grand Theft Auto Online and are we finally going to be seeing a multiplayer experience without modders? Obviously in a perfect world, that would be amazing, but I'm not sure Rockstar has the capacity or the ability to keep up something like that. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of these mod menus getting cease and desist letters from Rockstar? Keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, that is pretty serious stuff if you get one of those. Like that is no joke. That's not an email that you just like throw in the trash and that you just ignore and hope goes away. Like, no, that is like a heat seeking missile coming for you. And if you don't do something about it, you are in serious trouble. And what do you think this means for Grand Theft Auto Online? Is the experience going to be more pleasant, modder free, hacker free? Do you think it's going to be better overall? Let me know your thoughts, opinions more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.